So this weekend, I was perusing the World Wide Web, reading about the latest goings on in the RV industry. And campground crowding has been quite the hot topic in the last few years. And this latest comment that I read in regards to campground crowding, well, wasn't exactly very complimentary to families. So in this video, we're gonna talk about it and some possible solutions to this problem. So stay tuned. We are Charity, Ben, Dakota, and Trinity. We decided we didn't want to wait for a life of adventure. So in 2017, we bought our first RV and set off to live a life of travel in the USA. We've visited over 38 states in three years and have many more to go. Follow along to learn all the best places to see, RV and travel tips, and much more. This weekend, I ran across an article titled, Stop Selling RVs to Folks Under 50. Now, why the article had this title, the actual article itself was about different readers' comments regarding campground crowding. The comment that made the headline of this article came from a Mike J, and the exact quote as written in rvtravel.com is as follows. Mike J remembers when camping was for relaxing and has some suggestions. Stop selling RVs to folks under 50 years old. Camping has always been for relaxing, not partying and acting like idiots. Keep all that at home, start opening seniors only campsites and it will be less crowded and more peaceful end quote. Mr. Mike J obviously has experienced what probably many of us had at some point, and that is the camper that forgets they have neighbors, or maybe the RVer who heads out on the weekends to party like it's 1999. As someone who considers myself part of the RV community, and someone who is in community with many other full-time RV families, I will share from personal experience, RVers under 50 with kids are not your typical party hardy weekenders. Most of us with kids actually observe a bedtime. As a parent, I'll tell you, by nine o'clock, I'm tired. And if you're a parent, you can let me know in the comments below if by nine o'clock you're just done for the day as well. I cannot tell you how many times we have been trying to get our kiddos down for the night and our kids are complaining of the noise in the campsite next to us. Now, as a side note, we do have fans for white noise and lullaby music that we use for noise pollution situations, whether it be from a busy interstate while lot docking or from the party like it's 1999 campers next door. Now, the last I checked, there are quite a few RV parks out there that are seniors only, like Mike J is suggesting in his comments. In fact, our most viewed video ever on this channel, with close to 600,000 views at this point, was about our first experience requesting a longer term stay at a campground in Florida. Long story short, we were denied a longer stay than 27 days because, you guessed it, we were a family with kids. Now, there are plenty of RV parks that are not family friendly, and designed for the senior living experience, and you can find those pretty easily. I'm not quite sure what the RV community really needs right now when it comes to campground crowding or more 55 plus RV parks. I will tell you what we'd love to see more of, and that are campgrounds that are designed with families in mind. Want to have camping neighbors who won't be up drinking all night and acting like idiots? Well, I'm telling you right now, your typical parent of a young kid is way too tired by 9 p.m. to be outside their RV partying like it's 1999. The majority of families who choose this lifestyle are not choosing this lifestyle to be partying every night or even every other night. For many of us, this lifestyle is about prioritizing experiences over things. We're using our RV campground as a home base for the week or for the month to be able to go and experience new places. And yes, there are many families who are the weekenders who choose to come to the RV campground and hang out there instead of their house. And many of these families choose places and campgrounds where there are things the kids can do, like swim in the pool, ride bikes around, play at the playground, and just unplug from home life. Finding time to connect as a family is a great way to spend the weekends. You'll have to let me know in the comments below if you grew up with camping memories. We've talked to so many of you that have shared the best time you had or that you've had with your kids 
was out camping. Whether that was in a tent, pop-up camper, larger RV, RV campground or RV park, it's about spending time and connecting with each other. Now, yes, there's a handful of people that are setting up at the RV park and thinking it's a time to party like it's 1999. One thing I would like to ask is please remember, there can be young kiddos around. All adults have an amazing opportunity to be an example to the children around them, regardless of those kids that you happen to find yourself around are your kids or not. As an adult or an older teen, you have an opportunity to be a leader and an example. When our kids were younger and we would visit playgrounds, sometimes there would be older teens hanging out. A time or two, there would be teens at the playground using language that I wouldn't want my kids repeating in our home. And I've encouraged many a teenager to stop and think about the little ears that are seeing them as the older cool kid. With influence comes responsibility. And if you're a teenager, young adult, or older adult, you have the younger generation looking up to you. You know what would be even better than a seniors only RV park? An RV park with grandmas and grandpas that are willing to throw the ball around with the kids. Families that are willing to swap childcare so moms and dads can get in a date night while they're out on the road. True community that helps each other out and is thoughtful of their RV campground neighbors. Now wouldn't that be the kind of RV park and campground to be on everyone's list. I'd even be willing to pay a premium to know I'm headed to a campground that feels more like 1955 instead of partying like it's 1999. If you are part of our Grateful Glamper insiders joining us on our summer caravan, know that maybe we'll be able to experience together a little bit of this during our travels. If you're not yet part of our insiders, our insiders is a group where you can get to know us a little deeper we can get to know you too and get some behind the scenes insight and be part of our insiders only monthly giveaways and more. You can join our insiders group on Patreon at the link below. I also wanted to let you know about our partners page, which is a free, yes, free resource where we've been able to secure deals and discounts for you guys in the RV community. You can get discounts on things like a Passport America membership, soft starts for your RV, we'll be talking more about those soon, save on furniture from Rec Pro, and much, much more. You can visit gratefulglamper.com forward slash partners, and I'll put a link in the description for that below. Thanks so much for watching this video. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. YouTube's telling us that a lot of you watching aren't yet subscribed, so make sure that you take the one second to hit that button and subscribe to our channel. Check, check, one, two, check. Check in the chicken, the Chinese chicken, chicken to China. Hey. Party like it's 1999. Hey, go, holla. Can you back up a little bit? Oh, now I want you yeah. to back me up. Yeah, because I need more Okay, room that's fine. Hurts. Got it. Now, if you'd like to watch another video about RV community, you can find that right up here. And I'll put another video that I think you might like right up here. Don't forget to subscribe right here. And if you'd like to check us out and see what's going on over at TikTok, you can do that right here. If we don't see you at the campground or out on the road, we'll see you in the next video.